let's talk about advice and instruction. I have a few things to say about this. <laughs> it's I've watched all my life, <clears throat> and I've been guilty of it myself. I've watched people absolutely refuse to take advice and instruction. I've watched people flounder, and I'm not talking about people that just people that don't want to succeed in life. I'm talking about people in general, people with desire and, and dreams and ambition. I can ambition. do it myself. I can do it by myself. <laughs> okay, now. Don't tell me. <laughs> I, in my life, I have, I have a lot of reason for that. I've been, always been, I've had to, I had to be self-starter, had to be self-motivated. I was self-educated. I had to do a lot by myself. I had to figure out a lot of life by myself early on yeah. from early on you're self-taught in a lot of but it was pro it was problematic for me because i became one of those people that i was like no i don't trust anybody i've yeah. got to do shit by myself i don't need your help i lost a, i lost a lot of trust when i was a kid for people but that doesn't excuse not taking instruction especially from successful people especially that have done it and they kind of have a proven track record yeah and they can tell you exactly how they did it and they're give their little bullet points of things that you could do. We're talking to you people. <laughs> so take take this to heart. Okay. I remember specifically when I was a young buck and God, I admired your dad. I love your dad. He's yeah. such he's just such I just I guy. just have all, always idolized that guy. He's just a good man. You got to know yeah. this guy. And he's very successful mm -hmm. and very calm and just positive. Positive. Yeah. So we were in the uh, mountains in, uh, I think it was uh, Utah, and we went to a ski resort. Mm -hmm. and Montana, I, I think. Oh, and you had taught me to ski. I don't want to drag this story out too long. <laughs> but you had taught me to ski a couple of years before up oh, in New York. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> when we started dating, I went up, I was a Louisiana boy, and I went up to New York to visit her Now her don't family. just go <laughs> when we get off the lift. <laughs> she took me up. I got off the lift and I went straight down and oh landed my on my gosh, face. Shit. <laughs> so, but then uh, we got with, and I did it a couple of few times and got the hand, I kind, of, kind of got a handle on it, and, and I figured out how to ski more or less by myself with her trying to instruct me, but she didn't really know how to teach me how just to ski. Just do this. <laughs> Come on. Just I, do it this. wasn't translating. I wish it had, but so we were skiing. We're out with her father on some mountain and. Utah or Montana, and he says, uh, Jay, why don't you take lessons? <laughs> and I was like, What? Instantly, Hyde was chapped. I was like, I'm, I I'm good, I'm good. I'm just, she's going to hang out with my family, Gary. Thank you. He was, he was so right. He saw that I was novice. He knew that my history that I was from the lowlands and I just didn't <laughs> ski and that Jen had taken me out a couple of times but I was resistant yeah. to taking instruction. Had I gone to a class that day it would have taken me a few hours. Yeah. I would have been separated. Can you can you imagine why I didn't want to be separated <laughs> uh -huh. from my family? I think we had kids by then. But. Yeah. Tethered. And, and so <laughs> that was my excuse. There's always an excuse. There's always a reason. Yeah. Well, and you learned well. I mean, well, you, yeah. did, you did great. But that's well. not my my point. Is I want people to take instruction. In fact, I want people to seek out instruction, advice. Oh, I read self help books all the time. That is so fantastic. They they lay it out like almost like a workbook. Like here's all you have to do to yeah. be successful and to like create your okay, own Okay, so so there you are. If you can't take advice from a person one on one, face to face, or that you know, <laughs> read, read, yeah, read books on on yeah. the things that you want to know, or, uh, or watch seminars, or watch, yeah, I mean, read and watch, just, yeah. There's so many. You, that's books. true. You don't have to read if you bore reading. Yeah. That's a shame because you learn more when Books you, on tape. You absorb, you absorb more when you read. Mm -hmm. um, but learn. Take, take uh, courses or what a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you whatever can. you can. So There's so many ways you can get it for free. Yes. So you just go on YouTube, yeah. watch some videos. And... Now, so over the years I have watched people literally fall on their faces 
and fall by the wayside, people who could have really done great things. Um, I've had relatives like this, I've had friends like this. I re recently watched a, a colleague who wouldn't take my any advice. They, they just, they will take scant advice, just little bits and pieces, but yeah. generally, they want to do it. They want to do everything on their own, and they think they. It's, it, what do I call that? I call that smartest person in the world uh, syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> you know, you're. I'm the smartest person in the world. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't yeah. need your advice. Yeah. Man, that's just the wrong. I got my way. I got my plan. That's the wrong way to live. So. Well, I mean, you do want to listen to your intuition sometimes, but. Well, if other people can help you along the way, I mean, there's so much information out there. That's a good point, yeah. And, and there's, there's abundance for everybody. There's not just a little bit to go around. There's a lot. Yeah. I mean, never-ending, infinite yeah. amounts of wisdom and money and love. But and all There are that. so many things, Jen, that in my life I could have done. I could have picked up so much more quickly yeah. had I been able to... I think we've talked about this before. I, I just just developed an aversion to educational systems. Yeah. Because I was in so you many schools. You kind of have to be vulnerable schools. to to let somebody teach you. Yeah. Yeah. So I did terrible in school. I went to 12, 11 schools or twelve schools before I was in the ninth grade, and I dropped out of the ninth grade right yeah. away. And it was really, really. Uh, I squirmed in my seat all those years. Because it was just, I was lost. I yeah. was so confused. I couldn't get with any curriculum because I'd been yeah. in so many different env learning environments. Mm -hmm. Again, that's not an excuse. You have to pick up the ball at some point in your life and say, I've got to be open. I've got to open my mind to what other people can tell me. I've not been around that corner. I don't know what the, what's around that bend. That person has been around that bend. Why not let them inform me? Yeah. So it's, it's a big deal. I yeah. just think uh, we win so much when we are, as you say, vulnerable enough mm -hmm. to allow people to be, educate us. Be a protege. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Accept the tutelage of others. I, I do. I, who have, I do all the time. Who have succeeded at the things that you want to yeah. succeed at. Now, I, I use the analogy for this that I used to get ripped off all the time you you know what you know what never really got stolen heavy stuff <laughs> think about that for a minute you leave something really heavy in the back of your truck you're unless, like, unless it had wheels that. unless it had wheels yeah. i had motors i had two motorcycles stolen uninsured uh, but unless it had wheels i noticed people don't want to do the heavy lifting yeah similarly when when you have, I, I'll, I'll, I can stay, I've stood before people sometimes and I've, they've said, tell me, how, how, you, you did such and such. I, was, was that easy? Was that hard? And I'll say, well, it's both. Yeah. Let me tell you, you're interested in this? Yeah, I'm very interested in this subject or in that career. Well, I can help you. You tell them a little and they're very interested and they're eager to learn, kind of. <laughs> and then they just... Their eyes glaze over a little bit, and they walk away. And you talk to them in six well, months. Yeah. So how how did you do? Have you done anything with that? Or like say, building a YouTube channel, anything like that, or starting an acting career? It's just the unknown. But yeah. you're trying to make it not so much the unknown but, for them. But I was telling Jennifer recently. I said I've I've been so many times where I felt like I can tell people, or someone can tell you a person, I can lay out how to be a millionaire in six months you want to learn most people say yeah I, I want yeah. to learn okay you got to do this 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 here are the stages here are the steps here's some homework for you mm -hmm. here you're gonna to have to be disciplined the eyes glaze over <laughs> it's not really that complicated no there but it takes work paths. I mean you have to take action and, and it does take work but there are but. a lot of paths to complete independence and then some people will use the excuse to say things like, ah, I don't want to be rich anyway. I don't need to be rich. I had a kid, friend tell me that when I was a kid. And well, I was and like, what? Why wouldn't you want to be rich? That's, that's your block. That's your wall that you put up. And it's, it's really hard to break that down 
to be able to accept becoming rich. And some people think that it's evil to have money. It is so the opposite yeah. of evil. You can yeah. do so oh much good when you're rich. You can do yep. so much better. You Most, can be happy, yep. happier. Um, you know, I had, I've had some good times when I was poor, but damn, they would have been a lot better if I had some cash on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? For richer, for poorer, yeah. it's better to have money. <laughs> it, it's good to be able to, it's good like to be able to enjoy yourself in in either situation you yeah. know with or without you know, you know yeah. many of us have proven that we can enjoy life either way yeah but like it's like saying you know i can i can run this roller coaster without grease well sure you can for a while and then it doesn't it's not fun anymore <laughs> <laughs> it's very loud <laughs> <laughs> so, ad, advice yeah take it yeah <laughs> And education, it's just you so can. important. It's so, it's so, it can save you a lifetime of research and and Pain. heartache and struggle. You know, I recently did a project, and I encouraged, a friend was my of mine was encouraged to do the same thing, and I said, call me, because I can save you a lot of heartache yeah. on this project because I just did it recently, and. Um, I can help you and I can help you avoid the all the pitfalls blocks. yeah in yeah. yep. so you quite frequently you don't hear from people when you make those offers because they it's like having kids you know you tell yeah. your kid look we told our kids so many times don't no 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 don't do that because blah, blah, you blah. will <laughs> you will be hurt very badly and it, well, things will go badly and what did we what did we see you have to learn the from their own them. mistakes yeah. they have to make their own mistakes yeah. so we're all grown-ups now and you're never too old to learn yeah. so if there's something that you really want to go for if you have a buck if you have some bucket list items or you're younger and you have some career ideas get advice yep advice and training yeah so so helpful you know, I, but I don't have time, so don't bother me with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Exo Man loves to help people. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about is that stuff. Yep, taking advice. Yeah. So intelligent. And there's the rumpus sound. <laughs> He's tired. He's like, come on, man. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Here, here, don't you. Stop it. No, no hands. <laughs> <laughs>